You are now tuned in to Pink Swan, Pricing for Your Beauty Business. Lesson 1, Profit versus Margin versus Percent. Establishing Profit Margin. Profit margin is the amount by which revenue from sales exceeds cost in a business. You will refer to profit margin when preparing your financial statements, business plans, etc. Beauty industry margins typically fall anywhere between 45 to 55%. Calculating your profit margin from markup percent can get tricky, but we will cover that later in Lesson 3. Profit. The difference between the amount earned and the amount spent in buying, operating, or producing something. For example, the cost of the item was $35. The item sold for $55. Your profit for this item is $20. To calculate your profit, simply subtract the cost of the item from the amount the item sold for. In this instance, the $55 revenue minus $35 in cost equals $20 in profit. Here is another example. Nikki just sold three bundles at $50 each. Her wholesale cost for one bundle is $30. How much did Nikki profit from this sale? Let's calculate. $50 revenue minus $30 cost equals $20 profit for one bundle times three bundles equals $60 total profit on this sale. Profit is the easiest to calculate. However, profit cannot be determined until markup price is established. Markup percent is used to calculate your price. With markup percent, you always want to start at one whole percent, which is 100. In terms of profit margin, this means the item was sold for the exact same amount it cost to produce the product, which would equal zero profit margin, meaning there was no profit made. You only recouped your cost 100%. Going back to early math lessons, Calculating 100% is the same as multiplying by 1. I repeat, 100% is the same as multiplying by 1. With that being said, 200% is the same as multiplying by 2. So, if your rule of thumb has always been to take your cost and multiply it by 2, then you have been operating under keystone pricing all alone. Did you know that? You are already ahead of the game. And what you are about to learn next will completely transform your way of thinking when it comes to running your business. Let's get into the AF factor. Lesson one is now complete and you are free to move on to lesson two. Be sure to check your email for all follow-up emails, including a comprehensive review after each lesson.